Oi, we are in the jungles of Peaceburg, finding mulberries. Hey, mulberries. Mulberries, yeah. They grow on trees and they're delicious and there's lots of them. Because the world is an abundant place, but they have to make commercials on TV all the time that tell us that it's not abundant. And there's not things growing everywhere. You have to go to a store to buy them. And you have to watch TV and get a job and be scared all the time so that you have green paper to trade for things. <laughs> and you can't stop and smell honeysuckles. So that's a waste of time. Once again, we're in the jungles of Peaceburg, Pennsylvania. Eating mulberries. Because we're crazy monkeys who evolve. They're so delicious. I wish we could send you them through YouTube. But you can go into your own town and find berries on trees. You can grow berries on trees. You can do permaculture. You can learn, you can go to eco villages and learn there. Or you can go on wild food walks. You can get medicinal foods, medicinal herbs. Or you can just go on walks. Mmm, these are mighty good mulberries. I think I'm going to harvest some and share them with friends. Do you want to go sit on that table over there? Let's go. Ah. <sighs> So, Trap, it's a fine day. It's a fine day in Peaceburg, isn't it? Happy Tuesday. Oh, snap, these are white mulberries, my favorite. Mmm. White mulberries are even tastier than purple mulberries, in my opinion. Especially when they're juicy and slightly fermented on a table. Mmm, oh my goodness. These are so good. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna see how this frames here. Yeah. Alright, can you sit on the edge of the table and. Will people be able to hear us? Yes. Can you hear us out there in the YouTube realm? The land of YouTube. Mmm, slightly fermented berries. Well, jolly good day. Hello. Alright, let me get one more moment there. I always seem to have this, like, fear when I'm eating that there's not going to be enough food. I feel like it's a conditioned thing. Like, Yesterday I was at this potluck and I was like, I set that I set down my plate and I was and I was like talking to people and then I was like, you know I'm gonna have to interrupt this conversation because I'm gonna go get some more food and I looked down at my plate and I still had food <laughs> I still had food on my thing it was like I was already thinking about the next thing and I feel like in my house the same thing happens like my parents will cook a meal and there'll be all these leftovers and then the leftovers will go bad because they'll just cook another thing it's crazy but we got delicious small bears right here so by the way my name is Frederick this is Copernicus. Copernicus. Thus, co Cosmic Revolution uh, <laughs> FC. <laughs> FC, baby. Just kidding. It's KS because my name's uh, Kyle and this is uh, Santorus. Santorus. <laughs> <laughs> and.
and uh, today is June 12, 13, 2011, 1964, 1964, and we're here in Zimbabwe enjoying the uh, delights Formerly Rhodesia. Yes. <laughs> and we're here on planet Earth. And so are you. Mm. Happy Monday! <laughs> so. What should we talk about? <laughs> Holy cannoli, we don't have anything to talk about. Let's just keep talking about mulberries. Yesterday I was also biking and this cafe, two people had just left an immense amount of food. So I just parked my bike, shoveled all the food that they left in my bag. It was outside. like, yeah, it was an outside cafe. I put all this leftover food it was like an egg egg cheese broccoli quiche and I just like shoveled it all into this bag and it was so delicious but it was like a mass two massive pieces of quiche just left behind because mm -hmm. it's just the cultural norm to just waste lots of food yes I've discovered working at the food co-op that there's a little tiny spot we can't keep it on the shelves in the produce section so I'm, I'm eating all day plums peaches <laughs> apples pineapple papaya it's so delicious greens Man. but here we are and this is just available at our fingertips yeah, and I feel like it's a lot of just changing the mindset. It's like if you have the mindset of abundance, then there will be abundance. But if you have the mindset of scarcity, then you're like looking at everything through scarcity lens and you're... Um, and I feel like it applies to not just food, but everything. Like, like your love amp project. You started making videos on YouTube. Mm -hmm. Someone found you. Mm -hmm. And now you're going to California mm -hmm. in a few days to participate in all these awesome events. Mm -hmm. And it just worked out like that. Mm -hmm. And another person without the confidence and trust in the process of things wouldn't be in your position. Mm -hmm. Because they wouldn't have trust that things would work out the way they do uh -huh. if your heart is in it yeah I think it comes a lot down to just trusting that the world is a good place and that these mulberries are not going to poison us but we've been so conditioned to think that the world is a scary place where we have to be wearing our mask all the time and being scared of things. Opa. Happy Monday. Hi. Happy Monday, doggy. <laughs> oh, time to poop. <laughs> that mall yeah. here didn't taste very good either. Well, scoobly do, scoobly dee, I'm gonna walk over to the camera because I just want to show the beauty of Peaceburg for all to witness. Happy Monday! Thanks, you too. Yeah. Peaceburg, baby. Peaceburg, Peaceburg, all upon my Niceburg. Time. To have a spontaneous, spontaneous day. Any final words for 
the world to share? Uh, yes. As my dear friend Lao Tzu once said, as you experience life, try not to open the universe up to yourself, but to open yourself up to the universe. Whammy.